If you've been playing Star Citizen for more than an hour, you've probably gone on Spectrum, Reddit, or YouTube and seen a sea of posts talking about griefing. While griefing is a hot topic between the PvE and PvP community, the one topic that comes up far less often and honestly is far more important is players using exploits. Hey everyone, Stranger here. So to set the stage, we aren't talking about exploits like the maze rush of 318. In all honesty, the drug exploit created some of the most fun gameplay we've had in a very long time. It gave pirates tons of cargo to chase, cargo haulers a high risk, high reward loop, and for the bounty hunters, there was honestly no shortage of criminals to hunt down. It pretty much created Jumptown Stanton wide. But what we're talking about is when players use bugs that for the most part are game breaking. One of the biggest bugs right now is, if not the biggest, is when players are becoming invisible. See, when a player has this bug, they can fly around completely undetected, lock targets with no warning, and shoot them down as they fly around like Casper the Ghost. The only warning a player might have is the MFD will flash right before you die. Normally, if I don't have a CS, I'll fly around for a bit and let the player kill me, so I get the notification of who it was. This way, we can send the message in global so the player can log off, and usually it corrects it. Normally this is all it takes for somebody to relog and continue to have fun. Most everyone isn't doing this on purpose and they didn't know they had the bug. But every now and then you find someone who lacks so much skill that they decide to keep the bug after they have been told and change it from a bug to an exploit. Normally you could just avoid these smooth brains and relog and go to another server. But sometimes you're put in a position where you can actually flip the script and become the bigger troll. So here's where we're at. The footage you've been seeing in the background is the hostile takeover of Jumptown. Me and a small group come in and clear the area. One guy in our party goes to the ground and gets killed by a player inside the building. Shocking, I know. I decide to head inside because lo and behold the player inside has a crime stat. With a guard marker in hand I head inside and I get killed. At first I thought these thing got me but after being down a team member calls out that the guy's marker is on my body. While in third person. I can see no one in the room with me, and right before black screen, I can see my body being grav gunned away. We let the guy know in global, and he and his crew all deny it. Instead, like proper third graders, they tell us that we're the ones exploiting. Okay, dude. They tell us in chat that the invisible player is streaming on Twitch, so we head over to Twitch to pretty much talk to him more one-on-one -on -one directly. Now before anyone cries, stream sniping at JT, yeah, this isn't it. We're 300 meters above the facility with the guy's god marker inside. We know exactly who it is and where he is way before we go onto his Twitch. Quite honestly, we're probably at a disadvantage if we were to rely on Twitch. How do we know that this guy doesn't have a 30 second or longer replay buffer on there? Either which way, we head into Twitch to let the guy know and try to come to some common ground so we can all reset and have a good time. But you're hacking, right? Apparently I'm hacking, but like, I'm watching them How's walk through walls. You're hacking with all them boxes fucking around. Oh my god, how many fucking chatbots does this guy have uh, going? He's but you got the invisible bug. Relog, homie. We will let you in. We will let you in. He doesn't. No, oh, so no, now, no, oh, so no, now it's no, a no, bug no, apparently. No, so no, he no. needs to go ahead and relog. Stranger, you're an idiot. No, like, no, really right. are idiot. Shit. To oh, get to, uh, yeah, like, exactly. Like them to These guys are fucking exactly. losers. Yeah, they are. Yo, agile gorilla, uh, Dambro, you're in. Do you have no? Do you have anything? Planer's just muted. Look, you can see me right here. Is there no sound? Oh, there it is. You can see me right uh, here, bro. No, no, they got, they're on fucking two different bro, mods oh, being mad sus, dude. dude. Profit, profit, it's not even that. These guys were all out there. I saw them drag your body outside and try to put fucking boxes out there. Yeah, they... While they're all invisible. And we all yeah, have... He's got a lot of fucking bro. drugs. Holy is, like, shit. Holy boxes to, like, we seen some people like, looking at you and not shooting. How do you post a clip Dude, there? The person that's literally walking in this facility has shot at me. Good yeah. contact. It's been a trade every single time. I've had to heal okay, every okay, time. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, the fucking boom truck has arrived. You can't post a clip in there, can you? No. The bang bus. Hey, reload. We'll let you back in, and then we'll shoot you when you get back inside. 
Cause just give us all the boxes that Bro, you fucking I'm just, pulled. I, I'm just trying to make some money. Like, I, if I, if there's a bug where I'm invisible, then don't come get the smoke. Cause I'm a fucking god right now. Cause I'm a fucking invisible. Let me out. Like, As expected, they all deny it in Twitch, and B doesn't take our offer to relog and come back in unharmed and just reset the fight. So at this point, we decide one thing: this player isn't gonna leave JT. He will either starve to death, backspace, or just die of boredom. What ensued was about another hour or two of a blockade of Jumptown. The player's friends kept coming over and over to try and save him, but it didn't work out. Some of them kept raging in chat, and after a final push to try to sneak a ship in, the player was f caught outside with his pants down, really. You'll see that he ran around with his marker outside, and when some heat started coming to him, he alt f Fort. Oh, I guess he's outside, I think. No? He oh, just... he is. Oops, yeah, I shot you. Yeah, he is. Oh. Did he lock? All in all, it was a fun jump town. We had a good bit of PvP and walked away with almost 60 bills of maze thanks to these guys. See, we could have been cheesy and just reported him to CIG or relogged in a new server, but what's the fun in that? It's not often you're in a position to be able to fight back against these clowns and come out on top. And if you figured out who the streamer was, don't waste your time looking for his VOD. He never saved that one. Wonder why. With all that said, these kinds of bugs are far more game-breaking than so-called griefers in Star Citizen. I've had bounty hunters come after me and kill me before I knew what was happening with this bug. This is an issue both the PvP and PvE community can get behind. Listen, if someone has this bug, let them know. If they relog and fix it, well then no harm, no foul. They probably didn't know they had the bug. If they tell you to go pound sand, well, congratulations, you just met the most toxic players in Star Citizen. At that point, all you can do is just contribute to issue council reports and document whatever happened so CIG can rectify the issue. Now, it is against TOS to keep list of players, but CIG says you can't remember names, and if that player's name pops up on a med beacon or you see him out there in the verse somewhere, it sure be ashamed if you accidentally shot him in the face with your pistol and not your med gun or dropped the missile on his head. With all that said, and all jokes aside, I'm Stranger. Thanks for sticking with me and thanks for stopping by. And I'll see you all in the verse.